Why, hello everyone, welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV on Playframe. It is time for a brief intermission from the main story to do something optional but very important. Yes, as detours go, this one is particularly meaningful. Now, we're back here on a rainy day in the Doman Enclave. Remember this? This is the current kind of seat of power for Doma, the old Doman kingdom castle is quite flooded out that away. It's foggy, you know. Anyway, we are here in the Enclave because we're gonna make ourselves useful. And I would explain, but honestly, it's gonna make itself pretty clear pretty quickly. So let's uh, just talk to you. Kozakura is working like a woman possessed. Dermin, it's a rare honor indeed to receive heroes such as you. Pray, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kozakura, and I manage the accounts of the Shazen Kai. Ah, but you must be unfamiliar with our organization. Forgive me, forgive me. At present, we are largely concerned with facilitating the reconstruction and revitalization of the Enclave. Needless to say, we have our work cut out for us. It's quite fortuitous, actually, you being here. I had mind to petition your assistance. It, it's fine. You can stop bowing now. That's a very long bow. Ah, right you are. It's rather difficult to converse while staring at one's feet. And you would doubtless benefit from an explanation. Yes, please. As you may know, the Enclave was once the economic and cultural center of Doma. Alas, it suffered terrible devastation at the hands of the Empire, both during and following the failed rebellion of yesteryear. That it and other ruins might stand as testament to the folly of resistance, extensive reconstruction was forbidden by the Imperial Viceroy. Of course, that's no longer a concern. At long last, we're free to rebuild the Enclave, to restore the heart of our once great nation and show the world that Doma lives on. But, as I said before, we have our work cut out for us. We have limited funds and material resources, not to mention a lack of skilled craftsmen. Which brings me back to the matter I wish to discuss with you, that of our brothers and sisters in Eorzea, the refugees that settled in Revenant's Toll. I'm given to understand that they've worked closely with the local leadership to build and maintain much of the settlement. Many knew trades before they left, and those that did not doubtless learned that they might earn their keep. If they were to return home and aid us in the reconstruction effort, it would be a tremendous boon. Would you be willing to speak with them on our behalf? Hey, you can count on me. I love visiting those guys. Ah, Derman. Taking an interest in the Shazen Kai. Oh, hey there. Sorry about the rain. Well, this seems as good a time as any to discuss the matter. I am grateful beyond measure to you and the Scions of the Seventh Dawn for welcoming Yugiri and my people in their hour of need. As the beneficiaries of this kindness, they have made every effort to repay you and the people of Revenant's Toll. Nevertheless, we here bear a responsibility as well. Kozakura, if you would be so kind. Yes, my lord. And what's this? We will send them a considerable gift as a gesture of gratitude and goodwill. However, I would like that missive to be delivered to the Adventurer's Guild representative in advance. If you were to personally hand it to the man, I would be honored. I'd love to. Excellent. I knew I could count on you, my friend. Pardon my interruption, Kozakura. I look forward to seeing your progress. Oh dear. I hope we don't disappoint him. Anyway, I'll not keep you. Thank you again for the assistance, and safe travels. Appreciate it. Again. I am more than happy to visit those good folks. Okay, let's go ahead and get ourselves quickly to Revenant's Toll. Here we are. No bad weather here yet, but it's only a matter of time. Slothborn, better find yourself an umbrella. I've arrived in town. What's that, Derman? Business concerning the Domans. Yes, indeed. A letter penned by Lord Hian himself and addressed to Slothborn of Revenant's Toll. That would be you. Here you go. 
I see, I see. Lord Ian really needn't have gone to such trouble, but I know all too well how much our Far Eastern friends worry themselves over decorum. As for the matter of the refugees' repatriation, I'll not lie, we've come to view them as family, and we'll be sorry to see them go. Many of the other fellow frontier hands especially. So let us do you one better. I shall appeal to their Aorzean comrades and invite them to accompany the Domans on their journey, that they too might aid in the reconstruction of the Enclave. I expect many will jump at the opportunity. A costly thing to send so many people, to be sure. But, owing to Lord Hian's generosity, we seem to have found ourselves with a surplus of funding. It's hard to imagine the toll without the Doman refugees. They helped make it what it is today. Bah, what am I saying? This is a happy occasion. Go and tell Hosan the news, I'm sure he'll be overjoyed. I bet he will. At last, after two whole darned expansions, these poor Domans actually get to go home. And I love that the game is making time for this and celebrating it. They're just relatively small incidental characters in our grander journey, and they haven't been, like, big players or super relevant to, a, like, any of our questing at any given time for just so many episodes, dozens and dozens. But the game remembers them and cares about them, and I love that. I appreciate the young one's concern, but... As Isildur has taught me, age is but a barrier in one's mind. These old bones can still put in a good day's work, and the spirit is amply willing besides. Well, good. But you are who I've come to talk to. How very good to see you, my friend. Though not at all expected. You look as though you have something important to say. Do you? I... I know not what to say. Return to Doma? Has the day truly come at last? Wait here while I summon the others. This concerns them all. My word. And they're already making arrangements for our return? That they are. Yay. Excitement all around, mostly. Why the long face, Higiri? This is cause for celebration. It is. I. Like all of you, I've dreamed of this day since the moment we left Yansha. But now that it has arrived, I cannot help but think of those to whom we owe so much. Slothburn especially. Indeed, even if it were possible to leave this very moment, I could not. Not until I thanked the people here for everything they've done for us. I remember when we first arrived in this land and learned of its troubles. Though disappointed, I understood why no one would grant us shelter. Who were we? Why risk so much for strangers? But this place and these people were different. When all others turned us away, Revenant's toll welcomed us with open arms. I love Doma and Lord Hian with all my heart, and I want nothing more than to return and help rebuild. But I implore you, Hozan, we must first do our utmost to repay their boundless kindness. Never did I intend for us to disappear into the night like thieves and vagabonds. Everything you've said is right and true. All labors we've undertaken will be seen to, to a measure of completion. That much goes without saying, I'm sure. I will speak with Slothborn and ensure that we have enough days to prepare for our journey. In the meantime, I would encourage you all to prepare gifts and so forth. Very good, very good. It would not do to leave without saying proper farewells else we would labor under a cloud of regret. At my age, one appreciates every opportunity to put their affairs in order. After all, I may not weather the journey home, much less another one to Eorzea. Huh. <laughs> Given your constitution, father, I should not be surprised if you bury us all. Hmm. If you have no pressing obligations, Dermon, might I impose upon you to assist us with our final preparations? Since this is all quite sudden, many of our people may require a second opinion on fair well gifts or something else. All I ask is that you make yourself available for any such consultations. Would that be all right? Absolutely. That's why I'm here. Thank you, my friend. We will look for you near the northern gate. Quickly now, everyone. Let's not keep Dermon waiting. Exciting times. 
I'm so glad they all get to go home. Let's see... Um... Oh, okay. Let's see if we can be useful in this regard. Who needs counsel or assistance? I'll wait. Assisting the Doman refugees with their final preparations will take several minutes. You may wish to cancel any pending duty finder registrations. Oh yeah, I don't think we've had a thing like this yet. The game does this occasionally now, and I think this might be the first instance where it occurs. It's very cute. You'll see. Do, 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 do. So, we wait. I wonder, will this camera reflect our height or... No. <laughs> it would be sort of amusing if we were having to look up at everybody as a Lalafell. So kind of you to spare the time to help us with something so trivial. No doubt you have many other important matters to attend to. Anyway, I wanted to ask your opinion on a gift I wished to give a dear friend of mine before leaving. Isildur. You remember Isildur, do you not? Alien's grandfather? Though older than me, the two of them were still going on grand adventures before they joined the Scions. Ah, oh, how I envy his vigor. Yeah, this guy and the other old dude who are always hanging out back at the Rising Stones. Though we've done little more than drink tea and speak of our children, I've cherished his company. I will miss him, truly. Alas, in recent days his body's begun to get the better of him, so I was thinking of giving him something for his health. Do you have any suggestions? Hmm. Eye drops. A tonic for his memory. Anything for his back should do. That feels like a good call. Isn't his back what he ended up hurting last time? I feel like it was. Let's say that. Honestly, who at his age or even earlier is not experiencing some kind of back pain by that point. Nobody. <laughs> I thought so too, but I'm glad to see you agree. I swear, not a day goes by without him complaining about his back. It is a great comfort knowing that the Scions are well aware of their comrades' conditions. It shows how much you care for one another. Now then, I must procure the ingredients for my home remedy. My thanks to you. Good luck. Homemade departs in high spirits, satisfied with your suggestion. Oh, good. It was a little bit of a guess, but I was pretty sure. Wait a minute. I just spotted someone in the background. Next time the camera pans over there. Yeah, you two. Tinies. Schemers. Little troublesome lalas. I'm gonna go say hi to you as soon as this is over. If you're still there, anyway. Can't believe I never noticed you two back there. Anyway. Uh, my friend, if you could spare a moment of your time. The toll is home to many interests to which we owe a great deal, but there is one in particular to which we should definitely pay respect. Rowena's House of Splendors. The house has been an invaluable source of goods and services, in both professional and personal matters. I'm sure you two can say the same. And so I thought to bid farewell to the... One representative with whom I have worked most closely. If you would, uh, look to the counter by the gate. I speak of the raven-haired beauty by the gate. Of all Rowena's girls, she has been... She has been very helpful. There's a problem, however. I cannot for the life of me remember her name. They all sound so similar. Perhaps it's my dome and ear. I fear I'm not going to be very useful with this one. But you know her name, surely. Please tell me that I might have a proper conversation with her before I return to my homeland. Oh boy. So I've not actually interacted with this one. <laughs> very much. Let's see. Would the dark-haired one have been the one to deal with primal arms or the one with tombstones? I have a suspicion she's Oriana of... She's one of these two, I think. I'm gonna guess Oriana. I may be wrong. Hmm. Are you certain? I've heard that name before, but I could have sworn that was someone else. 
Oh, who am I kidding? You of all people should know. Anyway, I'd best go and speak with her before I forget again. I fear we've given some bad information. Though Doare departs in high spirits, you cannot help but wonder if you gave him the wrong name, and how poorly he will be received if that's the case. Oops. Can't win them all. I'm the warrior of light, not the warrior of perfect name recall. Aorzia wide. I meet a lot of people. Sorry. You two. It is you two. Ha! It's all you four of you. I love it. What are they up to? Hello. Need bad advice? Dermon, have you seen a carbuncle roaming about? Over the course of my time here in Revenant's Toll, I have come to know many adventurers, including an arcanist with a somewhat disobedient companion. It seems every day her carbuncle wanders off on its own, you see, and today's no exception. For a mercy, it will respond to its name, more earnestly when called by someone other than its owner, strangely enough. The problem is I cannot seem to recall what it was. Some sort of gemstone, I think? Um... I don't know this one either, I'll be honest, but, um, I feel like most, hmm, because there are different colors of carbuncle. Alpha knows, I think, the one who's tampering around with, like, obsidian carbuncles. I'm guessing it's one of these two, but I've not hung around this town long enough to know. I think most carbuncles, the emerald, like the green colored ones, still have a red gem on their head. I'm gonna guess Ruby. You must mean Ruby. Ruby, how could I forget? She named it for the red jewel on its forehead. Whew, I think we made it. Thank you for your help, Dermon. I'll join her in the search right away. Two out of three. Higiri departs in high spirits and begins calling out for Ruby at once. Sure enough, the errant carbuncle soon appears. What a fun little pop quiz. What are you four doing? Well, two of you are in trouble, I suppose, but I'm guessing that's a daily, if not hourly, occurrence. <laughs> and the sleepy one got left behind again. What a cute detail. How fortunate I am that you're still here. My father told me how you helped him, and I was hoping you might do the same for me. Glad you checked with him and not Dewaray. I seek your wisdom concerning Slothborn of the Adventurer's Guild, who helped secure us a place here in Revenant's Toll. Thanks to him, we were able to work side by side with the frontier hands to build these walls and lay these cobblestones. We were given food and shelter, it's true, but more importantly, we were given purpose. We have, of course, already expressed our gratitude to him many times before. I myself presented Slothborn with a Dorman dagger, which I am told he treasures. But now that we must part ways, I feel as though we must make one final grand gesture. A more elaborate, expensive gift, perhaps. Or... Well, what do you think? Hmm. Something flashy and gaudy that's got bells on? I think he'd just like you to stay in touch. Your friends now. Really? We should be glad to maintain our relationship with Slathborn and the Toll, but do you truly believe that in and of itself is enough? Hmm. Now perhaps you have the right of it, considering the lengths he's gone to to ease our burdens, spending exorbitant sums on farewell gifts may only frustrate him. Besides, whatever we purchased would come from the Aorzean markets. Better to wait until we've returned to our homeland that we might send them something more domen. Dried persimmons from my village, perhaps? Hozan's eyes sparkle as he considers the possibilities, clearly satisfied with your suggestion. 75% so far. Got us a C+. Plus. How go your efforts, brothers and sisters? Well, his less great, but... By all accounts, it went quite well. And we have you to thank for that. You're too kind, my friend. Sorry, Dewari. Hope the conversation still went well. Hozan, you were going to meet with Slothborn one last time, were you not? We were hoping you would allow us to accompany you, too. If so, please let us know when you do.
That said, perhaps we should speak with Slothborn sooner rather than later. I cannot think of any reason to delay. Dermon, I know I've imposed upon you enough, but might I ask you to accompany me as well? Yes, please. You kidding? Wouldn't miss it. Wait a minute. Are they back there? The little trouble squad? I saw him go wandering off. But now I'm wondering... If they're scheming around somewhere. Hmm. Troublemakers. I'm keeping my eye out for you four. Rascals. Hmm. Okay. Sorry about that, Hosan. Just had to check on a... Nothing. Let's go. Hozan has a thousand, thousand things to do. We should pay our respects to Slothborn while we and the others have time to spare. Would you not agree? In that case, I ask that you go on ahead and wait for us with, Slath with uh, Slothborn. I'll require a moment to gather the others, but I do not expect it'll take long. Meet you there, then. Slothborn! I think you're in for a special little... Probably not really a surprise, but a treat. Judging from the way I've seen the Domans running about, I gather they're busy with preparations for their long voyage. It is as you say, Master Sloughborn. The day many of us thought would never come has arrived, and now we make ready to return to our homeland. Let me assure you, however, that we have no intention of abandoning our responsibilities. My people have either completed their labors or ensured that others may easily do so in their stead. Earnest as ever. I'm grateful, truly, but you needn't have gone to such trouble. Revenant's Toll. Gods, when I think back to what this place once was, how it's changed and what it's become, I can't imagine it without you lot here. You made this place what it is, same as we did. None would dare say different. Tragedy drove you from your lands and delivered you to our shores, but from that tragedy came a new beginning. A hope that we shared with every soul that passed through our gates. And that, my friends, is more precious than any riches. I pray you carry it with you to Doma, and that it grants you strength when you have need of it. We will, Master Slothborn. I swear to you, we'll never forget this blessed place. You gave us the opportunity to work with the Frontier Hands to build Revenant's Toll. All the skills and experience we gained we will put to good use in rebuilding the Enclave. And then, when we've finished, I pray you'll come and visit. Aye, we would be honored to receive you and any other man or woman or child of Revenant's Toll. Let this not be an ending, but another new beginning. The beginning of a lasting relationship between our two homes. That's my dream for the future of our peoples. As we build these walls stone by stone, may we build it together. <laughs> well said, well said. Uh, damn it, if we keep on like this, I'm liable to start bawling. So, let's move things along. I hope you won't mind another parting gift. The lost treasure of Revenant's Toll, courtesy of your younglings. The foreman's expecting you. A most surprising but welcome gift. We shall endeavor not to drink it all at once. We will collect the bottles and return to our preparations at once. Thank you, Master Sloughborn. And thank you, Dermon, for everything. Don't mention it. See you all over there. Now, before you go, I have a favor to ask. Well, uh, Flamin, actually. She wants you to bring Yozan and his friends to her up in uh, Rowena's cafe. The wine's for the adults, you see. She's got something else for the children. I doubt it'll take too long for you to find him. You have a knack for this sort of thing, after all. My well, thanks to you. Don't mention it, although it's really Quayfriend who has a knack for finding the kids. I am absolutely hopeless in that regard. So, um... Children... There you are. Okay, good. Usual spot. Thank goodness. It's been a little bit. How are you doing? 
You haven't been looking for us, have you? Only just started. We don't have to leave yet, do we? We still have time? Hey, Mr. Derman. What are you doing here? Coming over to see you. Oh, hey there, Mr. Derman. You're not here to say goodbye, are you? It's not fair. Why do they get to decide it's time to go back? I mean, I miss Doma too, but they should have asked us first. Huh? Miss Flamin wants us to come to the cafe. Whatever it is she thinks we did, we... Oh, oh, it's not like that? Well, all right then. With me, guild members. Miss Flamin needs us. You too, Mr. Derman. Been developing a reputation as troublemakers out here, I see. Ah, well. Let's go meet him up there. Um, ah, here we go. Good to see you again. Haven't visited in a bit. You came. I've been waiting for you all for so long. All members of the Doman Adventurers Guild reporting for duty. So what's the adventure? Monster hunting? Garlean gold? Oh my, nothing so dramatic. Rather, I wanted to give you all a reward. A, a reward? Really? A reward for your many deeds in service to Revenant's Toll. When the Frontier Hands needed a helping hand, you were there. When there was no one else to look after the younger children, you were there. And through it all, each and every one of you carried out your duties with a smile. That is why you are more than brave adventurers. You are heroes to the people of the Tull. Heroes deserving of a very special reward that just so happens to be right over there. Ooh. And a treasure chest and everything. Like adventurers get... Treasure! My compliments. You are very good at this. Wow, look at these! Look, Mr. Derman. She got us matching hats. We'll make them the official uniform of the Doman Adventurers Guild. That's a great idea. They suit you, little ones. Wear them with pride. Oh, hey, you two. Mr. Boulder and Mr. Coltonay. I thought you were away on important scion business. Recently returned, and it's a good thing we are. We heard of your impending journey and hoped to see you before you left. We're both very happy that you may finally return to your homeland. They have great need of stalwart adventurers like you lot over there. But I don't, I don't want to say goodbye. Then don't. There's no need to. You're adventurers, are you not? Adventurers never stay in one place, for it's not who we are. We walk paths all of our own, never truly beholden to any one nation or creed. So don't say goodbye, because we may, nay, we will meet again. You'll see. We'll become the most famous adventurers in Yansha. And then we'll return to Eorzea and become famous here, too. Everyone may know the Scions of the Seventh Dawn and the Warrior of Light, but just you wait. Years from now, they'll all be talking about the Doman Adventurers Guild. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Grow strong. Grow famous. Lead the tales, little ones. We must get going, but thank you again for making the arrangements. Take care. It's just a whole bunch of side characters we barely ever see, but I still love all of them. This game is so good at this. Right. We mustn't neglect our training. Find the heaviest crates and carry them to the horsebird carriages. Um, Mr. German, Miss Flemin, thank you for the caps. We'll take good care of them. They suit you. I don't know how y'all still haven't learned the word chocobo since getting here, but... Horsebird is very cute. You would think I'd be used to it by now, having to see your children off, but... Ah, oh, well, I'll give you a minute. You've definitely made their day, though. Okay, kids. 
All prepped. Oh, and you've even got friends in town. Of course you do. I don't think that's a good idea. Weren't you sick most of the way here? Wait, what are you what are you planning? And while we're on the ship, we'll have plenty of time to train. Oh yeah, no, you, you guys should probably take it easy while on the boat. So are we gonna move the crates or what? <laughs> Got distracted, did we? There's still a lot of work everyone has to do before we can leave, so let's play until then. <laughs> Is it true? Are you all going back to Doma? I guess it's... Yeah, y'all should get in a little more time with friends before you have to go. Others can handle the boxes. The children told me you took them to see Flamen. I should speak with her as well. I had an idea about exchanging recipes via missives, or perhaps even Link Pearl. That's a great idea. <sighs> Where was this supposed to go again? Sorry, I won't distract you. Once, I thought this a barren wasteland that would never serve as a home for us. How wrong I was. Y'all feeling already? Matching hats. What a sweet gesture from the Scions. I'm sure they'll cherish them for years to come. The children are delighted with their new hats. Miss Flamin could not have chosen a better gift. Preparations are proceeding apace. Slothborn and the guild have finalized arrangements for the ship, so once we've finished here, we need only make our way south. How many times have I thanked you, I wonder? Not enough, that much I know. Thank you, Dermon, from the bottom of my heart. You are and ever shall be a true friend to Doma and her people. Ah, don't mention it. I expect you'll find yourself in the Enclave before us, so... If so, I pray you tell Kazakura that we shall join her soon. Hey, you bet. All good? Yeah, okay, cool. All right, let's get ourselves back to the Enclave then. And here we are. Rain cleared up, that's nice. So, work's done. Dermon, you're returned from Eorzea. And I got a whole lot of friends following me. They are homeward bound then. It comes as a relief to hear that there were no complications. Thank you for facilitating their return. I shall inform Lord Hean at the first opportunity. We have a mountain of work ahead of us, but with their help, I'm confident we can see it through. And I hope I can count on your assistance in the future as well. You absolutely can. That's what I'm here for. Why not start now, I guess? Kozakura has a proposition for you. Dermon, Kami be praised. I was hoping you might pay us a visit. I didn't leave. I'm still here. It is, as ever, an honor. Oh, chill. It's fine. Once again, I must thank you for helping our brothers and sisters secure passage back home. With so many skilled craftsmen soon to be at our disposal, we of the Shazen Kai are ready to proceed to the next stage of our plan to rebuild the Enclave. Which brings me to a... a rather delicate matter. Perhaps you will find this shameless, but... Circumstances being what they are, I see no other way. The reconstruction and revitalization of the Enclave cannot hope to succeed without the contributions of wealthy individuals such as yourself. I understand if you wish to refuse outright, but I beg of you, please, listen to our proposal in full before you decide. Uh, well, for the sake of Doma and her people, I should be glad to lend a hand. It's really not a bother, let's hear it. Thank you, Dermon. I shall endeavor to be brief. Where to begin? Oh, of course. It's important that you understand the state of the Enclave at present. I am sure you recall how everything was when you first arrived. Rubble in the streets, buildings in ruin, and so forth. While we've made some superficial progress since the castle fell and Doma was liberated, the scars of the occupation are far from healed. Since antiquity, the Kingdom of Doma has prospered from the gifts of the One River. The success of our agriculture and industry is intricately tied to our position here. Alas, in our struggle against the Garleans over the decades, much of what was built over the centuries was lost. Fertile farmlands that once yielded produce for export were despoiled, and what little remained could barely feed our people. Our foreign rulers did not hesitate to impose their will on local industry as well. Not only were we forced to purchase goods from imperial concerns, regardless of quality or cost, but our merchants were also forced to sell their wares to Garleans at a loss, assuming they received compensation at all. 
While those dark days are behind us, many of our former trading partners are reluctant to engage us in trade agreements for fear of the Empire's wrath. And so, for the most part, we must continue to fend for ourselves and craft what tools and so forth we require. Or so we would, had we the facilities. Forgive me. It's not so dire as it may sound. Our problems may be many, but we are all wholly committed to the challenge before us. We are not unlike the Shazinso, a hardy herb that can thrive in even the most inhospitable of conditions. I took inspiration from its strength and stubbornness when deciding upon a name for our organization, in fact. No matter the struggle, no matter the cost, the Shazen Kai will do everything in its power to overcome every hurdle and rebuild this home of ours. That is the spirit. Ah, uh, please excuse my sudden fit of passion. It was most unbecoming. Anyway, I've spoken of the general state of the Enclave. Let us discuss more specific concerns. Though, having said that, it would be simpler if you were to see things with your own eyes. Please, head to the work site north of the Etherite and speak with Mitsuba. I shall join you shortly. Sounds great. I'll go and do that. Mitsuba, Mitsuba, Mitsuba. Um, oh, Yagiri. I guess it makes sense you'd be hanging out here. He ends here, after all. So, how you doing? If you're looking for Gosetsu, he is with Yotsuyu, keeping close watch of her. Yes, quite close indeed. I'm sure. Uh, someone needs to. Um, you must be Mitsuba. You're quite tall. Hello. Well, well. You're Durman Durami, aren't you? In need of a hot meal? Actually, he's here at my behest. I thought it would be best if a potential patron saw our efforts firsthand. If you'd be so kind as to explain to him what you do. Oh, forcing the burden onto me, are we? Very well, if you insist. Allow me to properly introduce myself. I'm Mitsuba. Once upon a time, I owned and operated the largest tavern in the Enclave. I had a hand in everything, from balancing the ledgers to stirring the cookpots. Owing to my experience, I've been asked to oversee the work here, in the 10,000 stalls. Looking very work in progress, if I'm honest. Still, though. It's a start. Huh. <laughs> that was the exact same look I gave Kozakura when she showed me this place. 10,000 stalls. By the Kami, there's not even 10. But mark me, there will be. When we're through, this place will have on offer every imaginable cuisine. Just thinking about it's enough to set my heart racing and my mouth watering. As I explained earlier, however, trade, or lack thereof, is a major problem at present. We simply aren't getting enough shipments of consumables from outside Yentia, and so our people are forced to eat the same simple fare day after day. However, once our negotiations with foreign concerns bear fruit, we should be able to exchange whatever surplus we produce for a wider variety of ingredients, bringing us closer to realizing Mitsuba's vision. This may seem like a silly goal to strive for, but by improving the quality of life for our people in a clear, understandable manner, we can motivate them to work harder and tackle more difficult tasks. Doma will not be rebuilt in a fortnight, and we need every victory, however small. We have a bloody long road ahead of us, but we need only take it one step at a time. Whatever help you can contribute to the cause would be welcome. Thank you for taking the time to speak with us, Mitsuba. We should head back to the Shazenkai and continue our conversation there, so as not to get in the way of their work. There's not too much left to explain, but if you'd indulge me a little longer, I'd be grateful. I'd be happy to. I'm here to assist. Let's see what specific sort of help they are requesting. What you need? The 10,000 stalls are but one example of what we hope to build here in the Enclave. Alas, it'll take much time and effort. And it will also take tremendous resources. Resources that I pray you will be willing to contribute. Raw materials, foodstuffs, linens, medicines, all this and more would be of use. Anything and everything you can afford to part with would be welcome. 
Furthermore, as a token of our appreciation, we'll provide a small gratuity relative to the value of the items you relinquish. You need only place these items in the donation basket to my left. I'll calculate the gratuity and pay you immediately. Sounds like a plan. And that is how we're going to be helping out here. The Doman Enclave reconstruction has commenced. You may now use the donation basket to contribute unneeded items to the Shazenkai. These items will be used to supply and finance the reconstruction of the Doman Enclave. Further details can be had by speaking with Kozakura. Well, there you go. So, that is what we're going to be doing out here today. And in several episodes in the coming days, because this is a long-term effort. Let, here, I'll demonstrate to the donation basket. So, right now, we can donate about 20,000 uh, gil worth of stuff, goods. Uh, I'll just drop in some elegant silver pieces here. This is kind of the easiest way to do it. You can drop in gear or just literally anything if you want to, but this is just sort of the simplest way to go about it. I think 20 might do it, maybe? No? Oh, hang on. Hang on, let me... Give me a second. Okay, here we go. I think, if my math is correct, this should be... Um, oh, right, there's the gratuity as well. I suppose I should... Um, I should... Hang on. Making me do my own math game? How could you? Well, we're overshooting a little bit, but that's fine. Uh, weekly budget slightly exceeded. Still fine. There we are. On behalf of the Shazen Kai, Derman, I thank you for your support. Don't mention it. The proceeds from your contributions have already been used to great effect, but I would not have you take my, me at my word alone. I pray you pay a visit to Mitsuba of the 10,000 stalls. She should be glad to tell you of the progress they've made. And I'd be glad to hear it. Let's go check in. Mitsuba! I'm here to see progress. Oh, goodness! Already, construction has commenced. That's what's kind of delightful about this. As you go, you actually do see slowly this, uh place start to get assembled. Good to see you again, Derman. Kozakura tells me you've been quite generous of late. On behalf of all of us, I thank you. Don't mention it. So how's it going out here? As you can see, we've got the frames up now. Just the bones of what's to come, but perhaps it's easier than before to imagine how that stall over there will one day be a proper kitchen. Unfortunately, we've yet to address the poor supply issue. While it's true we've no shortage of rice and a few varieties of vegetables, some river fish as well, there's little else of note. The land here has always been well suited to rice cultivation, and you can't blame a farmer for taking advantage of that, but a man can't live off rice and nothing else. Hunting was more viable in the past, but these days you can't go more than halfway down the road to the next village without tripping over a shikigami, or worse. Not much game to be found at any rate, unless you're keen to try cooking koja, and I'm not which leaves fish and whatever livestock we can raise on our own, which is not nearly enough to meet our needs. Brother? Brother! Can you stand? Speak to me! What's this now? Oh. I have no strength to rise, brother. The void within my belly is all-consuming. Leave me. Only the Firewalker matters. The Boudiga. The Boudiga must thrive. Mine own vision grows dim, brothers. So distracted was I by the Lupin's lengthy lectures that I paid no heed to my growing hunger. I fear we're undone. Too far from the steppe have we come to return for rations, and I've yet to see a single sheep in this stronghold. You guys are far from home. I say, you lot look as though you're in dire need of a meal. We've got rice balls to spare, if you like. You would share with us your food. We'd be eternally grateful. Delicious. Delicious! I've emerged from dark into light, and my full belly now basks in the sun. In shape and color, it reminds me of booze, though it lacks any sort of filling. Booze, the Zela delicacy, I presume. 
a steamed dumpling or some such. They're a fair bit different, aye, but you can use all sorts of things as filling for rice balls. Miso-flavored meat is one of my personal favorites, in fact. Unfortunately, we're having trouble securing a steady supply of meat at the moment. Unconscionable. Without meat, your bodies will not grow strong and robust. A Buddha who does not eat meat is no Buddha. The traders of the steppe are rich in that which you lack, and will gladly trade meat for your produce. In gratitude for your kindness, let us make introductions on your behalf. Well, far be it for me to refuse. Wait until the Shazen Kai hears about this. Our tribe, the Budiga, will gladly give you all the meat you desire. If you will give us the one they call Hien. Um, you're asking a bit much, guy. That's putting it lightly. That said, from what I've heard, Lord Hien often speaks of his time with the mole quite fondly. But even if the way to a man's heart is through his stomach, I doubt he'd go with you for all the booze in the steppe. Can't blame him from trying, I guess. Construction of the 10,000 stalls is proceeding apace, and talks with the traders of Reunion may soon lead to a wider variety of foodstuffs. As you continue to contribute to the Shazenkai and the reconstruction effort, in what other ways might the Domen Enclave grow and change? We are going to find out. Slowly, but surely. And I say slowly because, um, that... 20,000 limit that we saw back there with my donation, that's weekly. That is the most that I can progress this particular little side quest opportunity activity thing for an entire real life week. So um, I'm going to have to record this over a pretty long stretch of time. <laughs> if you are wondering perhaps why there was such a long gap in between Stormblood and the post Stormblood stuff, this is half the reason. But it's worth doing, because, I mean, come on. We're helping him out. And that feels good. So, let me allow a real-life week to pass, and I will be back with you in just a bit. <laughs> Whew, what a week that was. So many crises solved and snacks delivered. Now let's make ourselves another donation. On behalf of the Shazen Kai, Derman, I thank you for your support. I didn't even do it yet, but you're welcome. I'm pleased to inform you that we've made great strides in our efforts to rebuild the Enclave. Oh yeah? Well dang, you have. Got a lot done in a week. So you can see the sort of like progress that happens week to week as you keep on providing support and helping them along. It's great. Owing to your many contributions, the 10,000 stalls have seen further development. As you continue to contribute to the Shazin Kai and the reconstruction effort, in what other ways might the Domen Enclave grow and change? But yes, let me pitch in a little more here. There you go. On behalf of the Shazen Kai, Derman, I thank you for your support. As you may recall, several Budaga tribesmen offered to provide introductions to Zela traders in Reunion. Subsequent negotiations went well, and we've at last begun to receive shipments of foodstuffs and other goods from the steppe. Mitsuba can tell you more, and I expect she would very much like to do so. Works for me. Let me go check in and maybe sample some food. Keeping busy, Yugiri? Glad to hear it. Look at this place, though. Good job. What do you think, Derman? We've come a long way from a pile of sticks, wouldn't you say? Care for a steamed bun? We have a selection from which you may choose, from meat-filled ones prepared in the Zela fashion to more traditional Doman ones packed full of vegetables to others with a sweet bean paste filling. Or if you'd rather have a heaping helping of rice with a bowl of soup, my man on the right can sort you out. It's got a bunch of radish, just the way rich folks like it. By the kami, the smell alone is enough to feed the soul. And it's all thanks to you, my friend. We couldn't have come this far without your help. Begging your pardon, but are you Mistress Mitsuba? 
the one in charge of the stalls. I'm here on behalf of the village of Isari. I am Mitsuba. You've business with me, then. Let's hear it. Well, uh, we were hoping you might consider entering an agreement whereby we would supply you with local goods. Not just fish, mind. Shellfish, seaweed. If it's in the Ruby Sea, we can deliver it to your doorstep. As much as you're willing to pay for. That's quite the offer, and one I've little reason to refuse, but it's quite sudden and surprising. I wasn't aware of any seasonal surplus. Oh, there's no surplus. Our catch is the same as always. Rather, we've got more... Uh, helping hands? A certain collective, you might say. It's the Confederacy, mistress. They're eager to trade the bounty of the sea for that of the land. Vegetables, meat, spirits. Mostly spirits, I'd wager. Ah, so that's the way of it. Even a pirate grows tired of the usual fare. Especially when the usual fare is kelp or something wrapped in it. I see no reason to refuse you and your partners. After all, they were indispensable in the liberation of our homeland. Giving them a taste of Yangsha is the very least we can do to repay them. The bounty of the sea, you said? I can't stop thinking about what we could serve. Boiled or blackened, or served raw even, if we get it fresh enough. You've got octopus, yes? It's been too long since I had octopus. I could have a barrel of Usaginu octopus delivered here today if you'd like. And judging from that ravenous look on your face, I'd gather you would. Construction of the 10,000 stalls is proceeding apace, and trade with the pirates and fishermen of the Ruby Sea should soon lead to a wider variety of foodstuffs. As you continue to contribute to the Shazenkai and their reconstruction effort, in what other ways might the Doman Enclave grow and change? Well, we'll eventually find out. That fisherman wasn't joking when he said the Confederacy thirst for spirits more than anything. It's like they live on the stuff. I wonder. I'll go check the donation box one more time, but I'm guessing it might take another week for our contribution to show in the results, to pay dividends. Or maybe not. On behalf of the Shazunkai, Dermon, I thank you for your support. I'm pleased to inform you that we've made great strides in our efforts to rebuild the Enclave. Yeah! This place is coming together. Get very used to these little... <laughs> showing the new place off cutscenes with this music, by the way. We're gonna be seeing it a lot. Owing to your many contributions, the 10,000 stalls have seen further development. As you continue to contribute to the Shazenkai and the such and such and etc. Same line as we're going to... Again, we're going to see that line a lot too. But look at all the progress already. We should probably go check in. That place might actually be done. Or at least getting close to it. Place is looking nice. The stalls are now proud to offer the bounty of the sea. Care for a taste? Don't be shy, you know you do. Yeah, I do. Let me go make sure there's nothing else that I can get done this week, though. Just real quick. Kozakura! I cannot thank you enough, Derman. I simply cannot. I'm pleased to announce that, at long last, our plans for the 10,000 stalls are complete. Every tenant is open for business, and the food is the talk of the Enclave. You really must go and see. Mitsuba's expecting you. Don't mind if I do. Progression on uh, these improvements will not always be this rapid. Sometimes it may take a few weeks of uh, steady contributions to see dividends like this, but I appreciate that the first one's pretty fast. Good work over here. I've been waiting for you two to arrive. It's past time you saw the 10,000 stalls in all her finished glory. Look around. Take it all in. See what our hard work has built and smell what we've got cooking. Love that little stall.
We had plans and diagrams, but this... I hardly recognize it. It's wonderful, Mitsuba. Never in my wildest dreams could I have pictured it better. This is your accomplishment too, German. On behalf of the Shazin Kai, I cannot thank you enough for your generous contributions. Stop. I'll not hear another word of praise from you until you've at least sampled some of our humble fare. A cook can't trust a customer's compliments if they haven't touched the food, can she? And quite frankly, if the sights and smells of this place aren't making your mouths water, then I've already failed. Find an open table and prepare yourselves, because you're not leaving here until you've had the very best we have to offer. Dermot is thrilled with this. The 10,000 stalls are complete. That was quite possibly the most delicious meal I have ever had. Is this what a koja feels like, I wonder? Well, had enough? If not, I can bring you another serving. Come before Fend, I could not eat another bite. Not that I am not tempted to try, I assure you, but I fear I might die in the attempt. Ha, now that's what I like to hear. A customer forced to choose between good sense and another bite. You couldn't have paid me a finer compliment. And, now that I've stuffed you full of enough food to cloud your judgment, you'll forgive me if I broach a more serious subject. I'm not sure if you've noticed, but all of our cookware, our pots and pans, stoves even, are far past their prime. Most were cheap imports from other provinces. It was easier to replace everything instead of trying to maintain goods that weren't made to last. You're not the first to bring this issue to our attention. Others have had difficulty obtaining tools to go about their work more effectively. At the moment, the Shasenkai is considering two proposals. The first is that we concentrate our efforts on rebuilding our industry. We give to our people the means to craft that which they require, thereby addressing domestic demands first and foremost. The second is that we concentrate our efforts on producing wares for foreign consumption. We bring foreign wealth to Doma and trade for that which we lack. Both approaches have their advantages and disadvantages, to be fair, but pursuing both simultaneously isn't really feasible. Why do you fret over such nonsense, girl? This is no dilemma. Doma shall stand proud and tall alone. We will make what we need. Well met, warrior of the West. Too long has it been since you convinced an old fool to fashion armor for young ones. In search of a stiff drink did I come to these stalls, only to overhear a tale I could not ignore, and to cross paths with a bitter foe. Bitter foe? Hardly. Not that I would expect an imbecile with an iron head to know friend from enemy, or his own reflection, for that matter. Dermon, allow me to introduce you to Master Araragi. Like Master Tsuranuki, he's an artisan without peer, who once managed the paper mills of the Enclave. I should thank you not to compare me to this dotard of a smith child. More importantly, I should caution you against his advice. Your second proposal, that of favoring foreign trade, has far greater merit. Despite our best efforts, Doma is still a far cry from what it once was, and we've not the capacity to rebuild it ourselves. We must first look elsewhere to secure that which we lack. All talk and no guts. All the strength of a paper tiger. Or is that your clever plan? Convince these people to help you sell paper for iron? You... you mad blustering oaf. How dare you? Oh dear. We could have a district for both craftsmen and artisans. One where we create both tools for everyday use and goods to sell in foreign markets. The yard, let's call it. Then everyone would be happy, yes? At least, in theory, right? Sounds good to me. At the completion of the 10,000 stalls, an ambitious plan for a new area is born. The yard, a home for craftsmen and artisan alike. And that, I believe, will be our next project. The surest way to hasten our progress is to improve our fare. Feed a man the same bland gruel on uh, gruel weeks on end and see what you get. Makes sense to me. You are speaking my language. I'm pretty sure they're not going to let me donate any further this week, but... Worth a shot. What do you think? Though it pains me to- yeah, okay. All done this week, sadly. But, that's fine. 
we'll be checking in frequently and making donations steadily as we go over the course of 4.x and the uh, patch content of Stormblood. And before we reach the next expansion, we will have gotten this place built. So we'll just be checking back in from time to time as we go. Sound good? Take care, everyone. And I'll see you next time for some more main story. Goodbye!